Hey guys, I can tell you know by the title of this video I will be talking about prom and getting your dress made or custom made and the process I went through and what I wish someone would have told me. So these are tips for you and they will help you so, 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 so much. And I wish someone would have been able to tell me this because it was stressful and this will help you be less stressed and worry about other things for your senior year and so i hope you like this video please give it a thumbs up like and subscribe i do have videos out every month and thank you for watching i mean and yeah you didn't watch it yet but you know i'm sorry i i made that awkward um you didn't watch it yet but you're about to and i appreciate that so thank you <music>and the most important tip I can tell you is to start early. I started talking to my designer in January, February. I already had a sketch January and I was talking to him to get it actually the process of getting it made in February. So start early. It'll save you a headache. Okay, listen. <laughs> be stressing out about a prom dress so start early because it'll save you from having a dress you don't like it'll save you from just a whole bunch of unnecessary stress start you have SATs you have college to think about you don't want to be stressing out your senior year about a dress and nine times out of ten if you don't start early if you start at the last minute you probably will be and that's not what you should be worried about trust me that's the number one tip start early my second tip is to know your price know how much you want to pay for my Prom dress, my parents paid for it. I was lucky enough to have parents who would do that for me. And they paid about a little over $400, maybe $500 for it. But my best friend, she was going to get her prom dress custom made. She decided at the last minute not to, but she was going to pay $800 for her dress. And that's because she wanted a lot of individual beading, a lot of jewels on her dress. She, want, she wanted a really extravagant elegant dress and that was going to cost her $800 and she was going to pay for that alone if you are sure you want a dress specifically made for you then I advise you to start saving your junior year maybe you should start getting a job that summer going into your senior year because if you want a very detail oriented dress it's going to cost money and so I I know people who have paid $800, no I've paid, I know people who have paid up to $1,200 for their dress and of course their dresses are very beautiful but I I wasn't going to pay $1,200 for my dress but if you want to do that you know to each his own but just be aware that the more detail you want the more extravagant you are making your dress the more it's going to cost and so when you're thinking about designs for your dress you should also keep that in mind. My third tip and this is honestly i think this is a very important tip because <laughs> i'll tell you about that later but know what you want you should set up a pinterest and create a folder and call it prom dress and i'll show you what i did when i was going through the process of looking for inspiration for my prom dress i'm looking down because i'm you know going to show you my screen but as you can see right here i have the same theme um, I always have like this little see-through effect. This is a um, this is kind of the theme I had for my prom. I wanted like a see-through see sequence or like some type of pattern, but kind of with this kind of material. And so I I always I kind of stick to my theme. In here, you see the same for that little see-through bejeweled material in the top, see-through with like strategically placed. Um, I don't know what it's called but see I always stick to my theme and that's the um, number one thing when searching for your prom dress if you want to let's search for a prom dress and so you can look up red carpet dresses and when you're looking at red carpet dresses mm, come on load up I'm sorry it doesn't want to load come on you're embarrassing me one eternity later okay but when you're searching for a prom dress what you should do is you should look up red carpet prom dresses there and okay there it goes and whatever you like you should save and you should always try to stick to your theme you see how this is kind of like a see-through cape if i wanted that I, oh, I told you i was going for that see-through effect i feel like that 
goes with my theme so you just take it and you would save it to your prom folder and it's gonna say save to prom and that's what you do whatever you like you save but what I would really highly recommend is that you always stick to your theme see if I know I want like a see-through effect I'm not gonna go saving every picture I like see this dress is pretty this pre this dress is pretty all these dresses are pretty you don't want to have well not all of them but you don't want to have like a whole bunch of dresses in your prom you want to stick to a theme so you're not getting confused the only time you should have a dress that does not go with your particular theme or the idea you have for your prom dress is when you like the cut or the design of the dress and you want your designer to make that design for your dress to go with your theme is if that makes sense so for me i want the see-through effect but if i like mm, okay if i like the cut of this dress i can be like hey can you do like the see-through sequence material but can you do it like this so it's designed or cut like this if you get what i'm saying and that's the only time you should have dresses that don't go strictly with your theme in your prom folder and this will really help you stay organized it will help you gather your thoughts and it will help you know what you want and what you don't want for your prom dress because there are so many beautiful dresses on pinterest you'll just end up saving everything you like even on google you'll just end up saving 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 so stick to a theme and try to only save dresses that have that theme and then slowly try to narrow it down and then eventually you'll just start to get an idea of what you want you'll start to see it in your head and that is the best feeling when you start to see it in your head and then you can move on to the next step because you know exactly what you want your dress to look like so know what you want and now on to the next step and this is like the most, this is another important step. And it's to look for designers. And if you're looking for designers and you don't really know designers in your area, what you can do, so at my school we had a modeling team and sometimes the models will go and work outside jobs. And so they really knew designers close to home, designers out of state that you could possibly work with. And so you should definitely talk to people who are in those like modeling clubs because nine times out of ten they do modeling outside of the school and they work with some local designers and so ask them you should also ask the modeling team coordinator or whoever's in charge if they know anybody who's really good at making prom dresses because nine times out of ten they will know and also when you're looking for designers you should go on their social media to see if you like them and so go on their social media look at their look at who they're following if they're following any other designers look at their feed look at where they live if they're in your area or if you're willing to commute if they're in an area that you're willing to commute to look at their designs if it's something that appeals to you if their designs are something that you like if you know you want to get your dress made by them and slowly you just start to get a feel for who you like on social media and then you could get in contact with them and ask them how much they charge and see if you would be financially able to work with them and then slowly just looking at their designs just looking at their prices your search will be slowly narrowed down and then you could pick an artist that you eventually want to work with tip five is the most important tip i think it's tip five i hope it is but this is contact your designer and set up a meeting and so he can start the process of making your dress and usually when you contact them they'll want to meet in person and like sketch your dress out for you and so you should know exactly what you want through the steps i already told you and you should bring pictures and stuff and ideas so they can see exactly what you want and when you're talking to them be very very detail oriented and so there is no mistakes and so you they know exactly what you want and there's no confusion for my dress i skipped this step I was like, I want this, I want this, but I wasn't communicating. I would just say like, I want that. I wouldn't be specific. And that's how I ended up not liking my first dress and needing a new dress that I was lucky enough that he made like two days before prom. And it was my fault because my designer, he kept on asking me questions and I would be like, I want it this way, I want it that way. And I think I was confusing him and he didn't get an idea of what I wanted. So when I was talking to him, he had an idea. He was like, oh yeah, I see it. But I wasn't communicating it. So his idea was different from what I envisioned. And so when I tried on his dress, I didn't like it. And I don't want that to happen to you. Because the first dress I tried on, the first prom dress I had, I did not like it at all. And then the, he 
my designer was amazing like he was like okay you don't like it, i'll make you another one and a lot of designers they won't do that and so he was like i'll make you another one he made me another one and it was absolutely beautiful i love my dress i still have it and uh, this could have all been avoided if i was specific with him but honestly i think it was meant to happen because my prom dress that i got i feel like it was better than the other prom dress and when i was talking to him i was like this is like i love this dress i think it's more me and he was like yeah yeah it's more you i like it more too and so I'm going to show you actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you how my dress was originally supposed to look. I'll show you the sketch of how it was originally supposed to look, but I won't show you the actual dress that he made out of respect for him because I didn't end up wearing it anyway. So let me screen record. Okay, and so this was the sketch I gave, I had made in January. And as you can see, I wanted the see-through effect on the top and the bottom, and I wanted some type of satin covering the mid, my middle part, my private areas. The um, sketch is supposed to be like a see-through material that's sequenced on the top and the bottom, and that's the kind of effect I was going for. And the middle part was supposed to be a beautiful royal blue color design i didn't really know what kind of design i wanted though i just said i wanted like a see-through design that's really what i said i wasn't specific and so i didn't end up getting that dress this is the dress i ended up going with and you can see the top still had that beautiful oh my gosh i love my dress it still had that beautiful see-through sequence effect that i honestly wanted i just didn't have it on the bottom that was the only difference from what i originally wanted and honestly i don't even care because it's just it my dress was beautiful like it was just everything i wanted just looking at it just makes me so happy because i had so much fun with my friends and everybody on my like um i have the vlog if you want to see after this video but everybody in my family was so happy for me i can't wait to go to um if i get invited to anybody's prom send off because like it's just such a fun experience to see your friends get dressed up i went to my best friends and she looked beautiful and this was like the best day ever and that's how my dress was originally supposed to look like but me not being specific it ended up being something i didn't like and this could have all been avoided if I was specific about what I wanted. This is why you need to be specific and so you don't end up like me, not liking your dress and needing to get another one made. Like, he made, he finished that dress like two days before prom. Oh, I don't know how he did it. Like, I know, I, I know I, he was getting tired of me. But thank you if he watches this video. Thank you. I'm not sure if my designer wants me to tell people he made my dress. And so... I respect for him I won't but if he's okay with it I'll have his information down in the description bar because some people are private and I don't want to um, disrespect his privacy check up okay and this is tip five I feel like all my tips are important but okay so this is tip five and this is check up on your dress yeah tip five check up on your dress like when I say check up I don't mean call every day I don't mean be annoying but I mean check up on it like check to see if your designer he or she is actually designing your dress when your dress is being made you should not see your dress for the first time when it's finished no you should see your dress when it's in the process of being made like my dress was in the process of being made when i didn't like it and he had to make another one and this will help you so much because you see it in the stages of it being made and if you don't like anything you could easily change it or critique it or fix it and so make sure you check up on your designer you know you can call him i'd say you should contact him or her your designer every at least once a month in the beginning but towards the end like every two weeks and your goal should be to have your dress done a few weeks if not a month before prom it will help you be less stressed and you know exactly what you're going to wear it's just will save you a little headache that's my advice to you oh my gosh i had so much fun on my prom just thinking this video is so much fun to do because it's bringing back so many memories of my prom night it was so much fun oh my gosh i'm probably never going to see some of those people again but like the people um the boy and the girl i went to prom with i still talk to so and tip six this is my last tip i know i'm sad too and this tip is 
don't tell anybody what you're wearing what your dress is going to look like you want it to be a surprise you don't want people to know your moves you want to keep your moves a secret don't tell anybody what your dress is going to look like just kind of let it be like a friendly like uh, you'll see i'll be beautiful don't worry like me and my friends my friend used to joke with me i used to be like what is your dress gonna look like and she was gonna be she was like don't worry it's gonna be better than yours i'm like okay <laughs> like we'll see and she looks amazing for prom she really did you just don't want anybody to know what you're gonna wear you really want it to be a surprise because the first time people see you it'll be a surprise for them too and they'll be like oh my gosh you look amazing it'll just make you feel so nice like i didn't tell anybody what i'm wearing like when i'm going to events very rarely do I tell people what I'm wearing. Like for a homecoming in high school, I didn't tell anybody what I was gonna wear um, by junior and senior year because my freshman and sophomore year for homecoming, I used to look crazy. And yeah, I don't tell anybody what I'm gonna wear. I just keep it a secret and then I just go and slay. And you will too. It's just tips I'm giving you on how to get a prom custom made dress. But this is not to knock anybody who did not get their dress made. This is not to make anybody feel bad if they weren't able to because my best friend didn't get her dress custom made and let me tell you she looked gorgeous like i was sitting there i felt so proud like i felt like a proud parent and she did not get her dress custom made and she looked amazing so this is not to knock anybody who wasn't able to get their dress custom made this is actually just to inform people and give them tips if they are looking to get their dress custom made because no matter what girl i'm sure you're gonna be gorgeous but just know like i am cheering you on in spirit at your prom just like go slay all this oh crying i'm just doing all that i'm like your hype man at prom even though you don't see me i'm there and i just hope you have an amazing prom prom for me was so much fun please have fun at prom don't let you know the stress of the day distract you like because prom day leading up to it was very stressful but just relax woosah, and everything will be all right so i hope you have a great senior year i hope you got good grades your senior year and i hope these tips helped you and i hope you have a great day and please be sure to like and subscribe and if you want to you can check out some of my other videos <laughs> yeah right over here and thank you so much for watching and i love you and bye